Okay, before we move on to our next learning objective, informal fallacies of reasoning, let's take a few moments to recap what we should have been learning about basic logic concepts. Now, after our study of basic logic concepts, we should be able to recognize the two parts of any deductive argument or inductive argument. But let's take the deductive arguments as a focus for now. Premises and conclusions. These are the two parts of an argument. We know that both premises and conclusions are what we call propositional truth claims. Any sentence or any part of a sentence that claims that something is the case or that something is not the case is what we call a proposition. Now, in a deductive argument, when the premises entail the conclusion by logical necessity, by strict logical entailment, then we have a valid deductive argument. And when that does not happen, because not all arguments are valid, when that does not happen, then the argument is called invalid. So that's the first thing you should be able to understand about basic logic concepts, that the issue of validity for the argument itself and the issue of the truth, the factual truth, or, or the analytic truth of the premises, these are separate issues, and you have to keep those separate. The other thing you should learn about basic logic concepts is that explanations are not the same thing as arguments. Explanations tell us who, what, when, where, or even why something is the case, but only an argument gives us reasons to accept a proposition called a conclusion. We should also understand the basic difference between deductive reasoning or deductive argumentation and inductive reasoning or inductive argumentation. Deductive reasoning, our concern right now, promises us absolute truth about the conclusion proposition that is uh, stated, provided that the premises are factually true and provided that the premises entail the conclusion by strict logical necessity. If that is not the case, then the argument is invalid. Now, we know from our study of basic logical concepts that uh, not all deductive arguments that are valid also turn out to be sound. For instance, take the argument deductively, all guns kill, first premise, second premise, all humans are guns, leading to the conclusion by entailment that therefore all humans kill. Now, that's a perfectly valid argument, but as I think we'll all agree, the premises are very suspicious and probably not true. So, therefore, the important thing about studying basic logic concepts is that the issue of validity for an argument is a different issue than the factual truth or the simple analytic truth of the premises. It's very important to keep those separated. Many people confuse them, and therefore they do not understand how to use deductive reasoning. We also should examine the relationship between factually true propositions and valid deductive arguments a little further. It is really improper, as we now know, to say about a proposition, a truth claim, that it's valid. No, validity only refers to arguments. It would be equally fallacious if we said that uh, a given deductive argument is factually true. No. Arguments are either valid or invalid. Propositions are either true or false. If you keep that straight, you'll find that you'll learn a lot more about logic and critical thinking. Because the value of a critical thinker is that a critical thinker pursues valid and sound reasoning. We also have to understand the precise definition between validity and soundness of a deductive argument. There are two conditions that are necessary for a sound deductive argument. First of all, it has to be valid. The premises must entail the conclusion by logical necessity. Okay? The second condition is the premises must be factually true. If those two conditions are met, then we have a valid argument that is also a sound argument. And this is the goal of becoming a critical thinker. We want our reasoning to be sound, and we do not want to make mistakes in the process of reasoning. Which, of course, leads us to our very next learning objective. 
informal fallacies of reasoning. 